Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're here at Apache Camping Center in Everett, Washington. We're going to take a look at my personal favorite travel trailers of all times. This New Camp Tab 320 has actually been around for much longer than the 400. And I love the 400, but the 320, just a little bit more adorable. So if you're not familiar with the tabs at all, New Camp makes these out of Sugar Creek, Ohio. They're really well-designed little, little campers. And as a matter of fact, uh, they also sell these in the UK. They have a slight different variation, which is kind of neat. These are adorable. They're made out, they, they use Asdell siding. Uh, some of these, for example, the Boondock Edition, and we're gonna take a look at this guy. Uh, you'll see that they have some diamond plating. They have solar panels on the roof. They use dual pane acrylic windows. You've got an outdoor shower, which is kind of nice. 30 amp hookup, all that good stuff. And you're gonna see the Aldi system. We'll talk about that. The colors are very customizable. And one thing I would love to see is like a Doom Bucky or a Volkswagen Beetle pulling one of these behind. I think that would be so neat. These guys have a little frame on the rear end so that if you hit something or a tree or a branch, you know, whatever, it kind of bounces off hopefully. Um, but a lot of these will just have a little grab handles here because they are very lightweight trailers. They have Yakima rack on the back. You can mount some solar panels there or extra storage if you so choose. And a little backpack. That is a slot for the table to bring it outside. And let's take a look. Fancy boondock edition here. And this window used to have, in the older models, uh, they've really evolved over the years, used to have a little twisty window like we see in the bathroom, but now it just has a little raising window. I absolutely love these little guys. Little trash can on here. Spot for your fire extinguisher as well. And if we come on in, you can see we've got the kitchen, bathroom, and seating. So let's start at the back actually. New Camp is really known for really high quality materials. Uh, this guy is no exception. The, the materials that they're using in here, really solid, good quality, uh, good quality stuff. They, they do evolve these like every year. And the nice thing is, is they're so small that if you wanna like add a new feature that's in a new one, you, you can add that into your, your old one. They, they won't really change shape and kind of cross compatible sort of thing. If we want to make this guy into a bed, let's go ahead and pull up and push down. And it's a pretty comfortable, comfortable enough bed, especially as a part timer. I think that if you were just camping, this would be probably the perfect rig. Yeah. And we do know that this was an upgrade in the 2022 model that they kept for the 2023 that also added to the top 400 is the swivel table. Um, Makes it really versatile in here. Yep, and you can pull it out, put it outside if you want to. They made a couple of changes for the 2022 model year, I believe, uh, including the exterior uh, graphics option. But again, graphics would be so cheap on this. It's so small. They do try to use every inch of storage. We've got a little bit of storage down here. Ah, we got a little bit of storage down here, which is kind of nice. Um, and you can see that they router everything, um, which is that's pretty great we have visited the sugar creek ohio factory and i gotta say the nicest people they stand by their product we do have some storage up here we got some controls there a max air fan built in they don't cheap out and you can suck air in or out these are my favorite types of windows if you're not familiar with these already we got little locks down here we can open them all the way out and then you can lock them in uh with these uh with these guys or loosen them up and this is how shades should be so we can pull up to get complete privacy or maybe i don't want people to see down and in right i can go halfway it makes absolutely no sense to have this the opposite <laughs> like we pull shades down but then okay people can't see up but they can always see you know i would rather people see the ceiling for example from the outside so we can go ahead and lock her back in these are fantastic windows and one thing i didn't know is that uh when you wash these we've had a couple of units with these windows when you wash these you can actually go back in and polish them because you might scratch them up we have the aldi control panel up here which if you're not familiar with it basically there are pipes throughout and then there are vents. Uh, it's glycol that is heated and then pumped through. So it's a nice warm, dry air, silent, hardly any power, very little propane, which is great. So you can actually last. I mean, it's it's nice. Um, and it's not a very expensive thing to install. It's way, way, way better uh, than any ducted furnace propane system. Way, way better. Believe it or not, even in this small area, we still have a microwave, but you can option in an air conditioner if you so choose. People do full time in these, believe it or not, which is really nice. Can you show us the fridge? And a little fridge and a tiny little tiny freezer. Uh, 
itty bitty freezer there as well. Put, put a package of Totino pizza rolls in there. Yeah, basically. We have a two burner Suburban cooktop, right? This guy is going for $35,995, which is a, it's a pricey meatball, let me tell you that. And then actually, what storage do we have in there? Okay, a little bit of storage and then again underneath and underneath. This is a very interesting bathroom because it's very small. It is very small, uh, but I like the toilet. I like how they integrate everything. You can see that they put the sink back here and then that also, the faucet acts as a shower head as well. And then I love these windows. They used to use these on the front door as well, but they chose to go away from that probably for privacy. And then you can cover your toilet paper right in here. But I will say the only downside of this rig is that if you're six foot one with your Crocs on, it's not that you're wearing the wrong footwear, but it's that you're not gonna be able to stand up all the way. So my head hits and I'm kind of uh, slightly bowed at the knees here. So, uh, so close. So technically speaking, I think the tab 400 is the one for me, but, but this is a very, very close second. I, I love this unit. I would say this is my favorite, but the 400, is the one that I would buy if we were buying a tab. Oh, I love these rigs. And I hope you love them as much as we do, but in the next video, we're gonna take a look at some teardrops that are even more teardroppy than this. See you guys in the next video. Bye.